Hey guys, Tom from DigiSmoothie here, and in this video, I would like to show you how to connect a custom domain and subdomain to your Shopify store. In my example here, I have a store with three languages, Czech, English, and German, and I would like to use a different domain or subdomain for each. First, let's have a look on the domain section. So here you can see I have only neatlane.cz as a primary domain and no other domain. So let's add the custom one. I will click on connect existing domain. I will enter my domain. And since it was already set up previously, the DNS records are ready, so it's now connected. In case you are connecting the domain for the first time, you will need to adjust the DNS records as per the instructions which will appear here. Great, now we have the domain, so let's set up the market. I want the neatlane.com domain used on this market called Rest of Europe. So I will go to Languages and Domains. And I will connect the neatlane.com domain to this market. So now I should be able to add more languages. So I can add English, I can add also German. And you, you see that the English is at neatlane.com slash en. I want it to be at neatlane.com. So I need to make it a default language. And now I can also remove the Czech language because that's what I want to have at neatlane.cz. Okay, this looks nice. Uh, now the next step, I want the German or any other language to be displayed on the subdomain. So for example, de.neatlane.com. And the way to do it is to connect the subdomain. So I'll go back to my domain, connect existing, and I will enter the subdomain name. The DNS records has been set up again, so it's now connected. And I will go back to markets and languages. The thing here is that you cannot use the different domain and subdomain inside one of market. So I will need to create a new market for German language. So I want there Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And I will call it uh, German. Okay, the pricing will be in euros. And now let's connect the subdomain. So you can see now in the list, I have also the subdomain we have just added. So I will connect it to the market and I will uh, add German language. And now I will make the German language default. I will remove check. So perfect. Now I have a German language at de.neatlane.com. I will go back to the rest of Europe and I will remove the German language from here because otherwise there would be a duplicated content on different URLs, which is something you definitely don't want to do. Okay, now one last check. So check market. It has a one domain, neatlane.cz, check language. Makes sense. German, one subdomain, German language. Makes sense. And rest of Europe, English, neatlane.com makes sense. So now let's test it whether it works fine. So first I will enter neatlane.cz. I'm at neatlane.cz, which is in Czech language. Now let's try the com version. I'm now at neatlane.com in English language and let's test the last one, the German subdomain. And now I am at de neatlane.com and it's in German language, so it works great. Now the one last thing you should do is go back to market preferences and make sure you have the country redirection enabled and also you can enable the language redirection. So when customer is visiting your store, they are always automatically redirected to a relevant and the right market. And also last thing you want to do is to check the local currencies. So go to market products and pricing and make sure this option show prices to customers in their local currency is checked. So customers will see the pricing always in the local currency. Okay, so that's how to use the different domain and subdomains on your Shopify store. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or need help, just let me know in the comments. And please subscribe to our channel to stay on top of Shopify. Thank you.